the Father proves that he may bear more fruit. So, the Father, even if you are bearing a little bit of fruit, the Father's not going to leave you like that because he wants you to bear a lot of fruit. He wants you to be very fruitful. And so he's going to prune you. He's going to prune you. Now, what does that mean? That means that he's going to take away branches and leaves and things that are sucking up the sap. There's, let's say it this way. They're sucking the life out of you. And he's going to take those things away and prune those things so that you can be a fruitful person. I mean, just having your prayer answered. In fact, that's really what we're getting to. We're getting down to verse 7. See, we've been on this whole theme, an abundantly fruitful life, and we've been doing these little sub-series of messages. We talked about how God wants you to bear abundant fruit. Now, now we're talking about, or well, then we went into the true vine. Remember that? I am the true vine, and how many different options there are out there of what's going to make you successful. Jesus said, I am the true option. That's the difference between no sin and the king of Isn't that right? I am the true vine. See? And so we did a sub series on that. Now we're talking about abiding. And this gets down to the key word in this passage. The word abide, the Greek word venom. It's seven, mentioned seven times by Jesus in this passage. Seven times. And notice that there are two abides. Two abides. Jesus says in verse 4, if, he says, abide in me and I in you. So there's two different abides. He said, abide in me and I in you. Well, somebody might say, how could you put two buckets inside one another? Is it him in us or is it us in him? Well, with buckets, you can't do it. But in the spirit, working with God, there's a way that he can be in us.